Hello and welcome to the HD Home Run Prime Impressions video. This video is meant to give you an idea of what an HD Home Run is and what it can do for you. So what exactly is an HD Home Run? Well, an HD Home Run is a network attached TV tuner that has three built-in TV tuners and uses a multi-stream cable card to decode the video signals sent to you by your cable company. It supports up to a 1080i resolution, which means you can watch high-def television on it, and it's in this particular case it has multi-OS support so you can use it with Windows, Linux, or OS X and you can also use it with a variety of clients being Windows Media Center, VLC, or even XBMC and one nice thing that uh, Silicon Dust touts us is that it has iOS or Android apps that you can use to watch TV on your tablets or your mobile devices and I'm kinda saying here that it's not really um, and the reason why is, is because Silicon Dust doesn't actually support these apps by themselves. They're third-party apps you have to purchase. So as you may have noticed, I mentioned that the HD Home Run uses a multi-stream cable card. And a lot of people are kind of like, well, a cable card, what? I've never heard of that. So what exactly is a cable card? Well, a cable card looks like an old PCMCIA card that you used to use to put in your laptop. And you get it from your local cable company. And uh, most of the cable companies will charge you a small f monthly fee for it. Um, I believe Comcast charges me 750 a month for it because I have high def with it. And in this particular case, you want to use a multi-stream cable card. And the reason why you want to use a multi-stream cable card is because you can use it to actually decode up to six stations at once. So being that the HD Home Run is a multi-stream tuner and it supports up to three channels at once, you want to have a multi-stream cable card. Um, the only other thing you got to remember with this is you got to actually register the cable card with your cable company before its first use. So once you have unboxed the HD Home Run, all you have to do is make sure that you plug your cable TV cable into it, uh, plug the um, cable card into it, then uh, power it up and call your cable company. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to give them the cable card ID and the device ID. Um, the instructions that come with the HD Home Run are pretty specific on how you obtain both of those. But basically what you have to do is uh, you have to go into the web interface of the HD Home Run and then uh, from there it'll actually um, show you what the cable card ID and the device ID is. So once you have um, it registered with the cable company you can verify it uh, on the website that it comes with the HD Home Run and basically what you want to look for there is on the status page you want to make sure that the cable card authentication, the card OOB lock and the card activation all say successful. So once you've completed the registration all you have to do is open up the HD Home Run setup application, give it your zip code, pick your default playback applications, make sure that the, tu the tuners are listed as cable card as the source type and then go to the cable card tab and simply have it scan for channels. Um, what it'll do there is it'll actually go through and detect all the channels you have access to. So once you've completed the setup, you can use the HD Home Run Quick TV app to uh, actually watch TV. And you can see me open it here, and I'll uh, show you a couple channels. Now you may think that the video here looks a little bit funky because it moves a little bit odd. It's actually just because I'm using a recording program to record the live TV. Um, if you watch it normally on the screen, it doesn't do that. So while the built-in Quick TV app is pretty cool, um, you're going to get more benefit out of using this HD Home Run with uh, other software such as Windows Media Center or XBMC. So what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to show you how you can actually use this with Windows Media Center um, to watch TV and you know browse the guide and see what's going on on TV. What you don't see here is there's a little bit of setup ahead of time once you uh, first open Windows Media Center with the HD Home Run you have to configure it but it doesn't take very long and then all you have to do is uh, go to the guide or go to live TV and you can watch TV right there. Drawn to your friends. Loyalty. Highly overrated. Stop. Down. Wouldn't want you harming my pets. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how you actually record with Windows Media Center. It's pretty simple. So once again, you go back to the live TV view, as you can see right here, and then all you have to do is simply click on the little red button at the bottom like you would with a regular VCR. Uh, Not for a long time. Next two of us. So what's your real name? I never tell. You just gonna leave us in here? 
from now on, this part of the prison is yours. Consider yourselves the lucky ones. So you can also go ahead and record an entire show, or you can record an entire series, kind of like a season pass with the TiVo, which you can see here by the little three red dots. That means it's going to record every instance of the show. So once you're done, just simply hit the uh, Windows Media Center button, go to the Recorded TV section, and then you can play it back from here. And I actually forgot to cancel the recording, so it was still recording. I'm going to stop it here and then play it back. So what's your real name? I never tell. You just gonna leave us in here? From now on this part. So that's all fine and dandy you say. Uh, Windows Media Center is pretty cool, but I want to use it with XBMC. And uh, there have been some improvements made over the last couple months with um, how you can use the HD Home Run with XBMC. And the way I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to use it with uh, the UPnP support that they actually just recently patched into the HD Home Run. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up in XBMC and then how to play back. So after opening XBMC, what you got to do is um, simply go to the videos section, hit files, and then you want to um, add a new video source. So you just go to files, add video, browse, and then you want to go to uh, UPnP devices. And then if you wait here a second, the HD Home Run will show up. You can pick cable TV, hit OK, and you can add this as a new source. And then all you got to do is click on it, and you can pick a channel, any channel you really want and uh, just click on the channel and it'll start playing. So um, they just added this in the new version of the HD Home Run, so this just came out and there's a problem with uh, Frodo 12.1. If you're running 12.1 this does not work for some reason. Um, there's apparently a problem with the UPnP support um, or they changed something so if you were if you already upgraded you gotta downgrade to be able to get this to work. So that's an overview of the HD Home Run Prime um, using a cable card and I kind of showed you a little bit of how it works with Windows Media Center and how it works with XBMC uh, if you're using the UPnP support. So the one thing that I have played around with a little bit is um, using the live TV settings um, with XBMC and what you have to do is you have to actually set up a whole other piece of software on a computer somewhere that will then talk to the HD Home Run and will then convert all the stuff over to um, be able to use it with XBMC. If you do use the live TV section in XBMC, you also get the episode guide, um, kind of like you do with Windows Media Center, but um, there are some caveats to that, um, and mostly the fact that it's a little bit more tricky to set up and the channel changes aren't nearly as fast as they are with um, Windows Media Center. The whole recording thing, I haven't actually tried yet, because um, I really don't, I don't really watch very much TV, um, at least everything that I uh, watch I, I download um, so I don't really have the need to use this as a PVR but uh, it's really nice because I can use this in any computer that I want um, I can just use it in the bedroom I can use it in the living room I can use it on my uh, Microsoft Surface that I just bought and watch live TV there so that's really the biggest reason why I like it um, if you are looking at getting something that does live TV on your network or for your home computers, um, I would definitely check out one of these HD Home Runs. Um, I got mine for Black Friday last year for about a hundred bucks, um, and I think it was definitely well worth the money. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will do probably another video using XBMC and using the live TV section with um, NPVR, which is the software that I use to set it all up. Um, so that should be coming sometime in the near future. Um, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, or if you have some of you know, your own experiences using the HD Home Run with XBMC or Windows Media Center, um, let me know. Go ahead and post something down in the comments or hit me up on my blog at xbmcstuff.tumblr.com. All right, until then, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.